Hello, this is John from Terrytown RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and today I want to show you a brand new 2017 Heartland Bighorn 3675EL. I think this is a newer floor plan. I couldn't find out a whole lot about it, uh, but I checked it out. It's a really great looking Bighorn. The exterior is attractive, the interior is attractive. It's a three slide unit. It probably sleeps four comfortably. It does have a double clear coated painted front cap, so it's not gonna fade as easily in the sun. It has some other great features too. It has lights on the steps, coffered ceiling inside. Uh, it also has a six point auto leveling system a Lippert pin box, anti-turn technology. This is a really great unit from Bighorn 3675EL. So let's get a look at some of these storage compartments and uh, look around the unit. All right, here's the Lippert pin box I was telling you about. It's your front landing gear, fully hydraulic. Uh, here's the front compartment. There is a battery already in here too, but I think someone left the lights on, so it doesn't have any juice right now, but... Okay, there's some hydraulic fluid in there, and also an inverter. All right, let's come on out here. All right, there's gonna be one of these doors on both sides. Those are to hold your propane tanks. Here's the pass-through storage, which is really, really big in this unit. Uh, I'll back up just so you can get some perspective. Nice big drop-down storage. All right. It does have a six-point auto leveling system. So just punch a few buttons, it does everything for you. Um, there's some kind of sturdy vinyl-like material on the floor there. Um, trunk carpet liner on the walls, LED lights in here. All right, these are your utility controls. Okay, hot water heater, exhaust. Another one of those feet from the hydraulic leveling system. Around here, the back side of the unit. Here's another little storage compartment. And this is, I believe, right underneath the entertainment center inside. Here, uh, it does come with a spool to wind up all that, to wind up that long electric cord. Look at the back here. Very nice looking one piece back, like something you'd see on an expensive RV or an expensive motorhome. Comes with a ladder for your roof maintenance. Around back, uh, in the sunlight, you can see how the, the finish is really glossy. Be a little bit closer look at that. All right, let's go around at the other side and uh, let's check out the main side of this Heartland RV. Okay, see this does have tight turn technology. You can read about that on Heartland's website. You know, it also has some of the material taken off the front cap here uh, to make the turning radius better too. The Heartland logo. Uh, it does have exterior speakers, of course, and some power plugs on the outside. Also has a bunch of these UV frameless windows, um, a large power awning with LED lights. Here's the other side of the pass-through storage. Big hydraulic door on this one and on the other side too, so on both sides. And you can see this side is even a little bit wider than the other side. All right, and I forgot to say on the other side too, they do have some of these little hooks too to secure your items in. Okay, here are the, uh, the aluminum entrance steps. They do have lights on them, which is really cool. Uh, one of the things they tried to do in this unit is incorporate a bunch of lights everywhere, so Fortunately, the battery has no juice, so I can't show you, but um, you still get a great idea for this. It's still a, a really uh, great unit, so. All right, here's the side door, grab handle. It is built for zero to 100 degree weather, so you can really tell that the insulation works well. Here are the wheels, I'll show you that. A nice classic looking wheel. But you can tell the insulation works so well because uh, it was really cold last night, and it's warmer today. All right, here's the other side of this slide out and you can see those big windows. And I'll call attention to that when we get inside too. All right, but it was colder last night. Uh, it's actually starting to finally warm up now. But when you step inside this thing, it's like stepping inside a refrigerator because it just trapped all that cold air from last night and it's not letting it go because of the insulation. Stepping into this 3675EL. Dining room table, lots of really big windows. And all the windows have the daytime shades and the blackout shades.
Okay, this has Caraba decor, really big LED TV, fireplace, lots of cupboard space, lots of solid surface counter space. I'm gonna go back here just to give you an idea. Okay, I just wanted to give you a good idea of just how big this is in here, uh, how many details there are from the coffered ceiling to the light fixtures. Um, there's, a, there's even a fan, not picture that's on the ceiling. But just everything in here has a really uniform feel uh, and it feels incredibly luxurious while also feel, feeling cozy and comfortable. I feel like some of the RVs in the luxury class, you kind of lose that comfy feeling because they're just so worried about making everything look high-end, but this looks high-end and it's also comfortable. So uh, it's, it's really great for that reason. So let's get a closer look at this coffered ceiling and then get a closer look at the rest of the stuff here in the living area and in the kitchen, and then we'll head into the back bedroom. So here's that fan I was talking about, and you can see the coffered ceiling. I love how the ceiling is segmented, how it also has this wood look in these panels. It is so awesome. It's my favorite part of this. Come on down and we'll look at the floor. Okay, this is one option from Heartland. You know, you see so much of the wood look vinyl in these nowadays, but this is more of a luxury looking tile vinyl. I'm not always a big fan of these, but I actually like this one. It looks really good and it also helps tie this room together, especially having that wood look on the ceiling. A closer look at this dining room table. Dining room table, two chairs. Uh, obviously these chairs are gonna open up for a little bit of storage. Uh, nicely textured too. Like I said, all the windows, uh, they have the shade and also this one. Doesn't let any light through. Um, and then there's going to be texture above all these window sills as well. So, all right, check out this light fixture. Check out all the windows up here. This is going to be power theater seating from Heartland. It's going to be a leatherette. But also, what's really cool is they do uh, this massage thing. So each of the chair has, has its own operating systems, its own light, its own heat, its own massage. So... That is cool. This is a long trifold couch. So this is gonna pull out, same leatherette. Uh, windows behind that, big storage behind that. I'll go in closer so the light adjusts. No lights on in here, there we go. Um, and you can see this is a really classy look to it. It has that decorative designer glass look in there. Come on up to this entertainment system and the fireplace. Really big TV. Honestly, I don't know what that is, if it's 50 inch or 55 inch or what, but it's, it's large. Fireplace down here. Lots of storage in there. Oh, they also have these double fluted columns. Which I was informed that that's what you call that. Double fluted columns. Oh, which is a really rich look. Okay, here's your multimedia player. Um, you're gonna be able to play DVDs in there. Yeah, but also you, you'll be able to hook that up to your phone. The control the zones outside, the zones in here, the zones in the bedroom. Uh, you'll be able to hook up auxiliary to this and control it with the convenience of your phone, which is cool. Um, and this whole entertainment block just has a really uniform look to it. Okay, and that continues. That's all out in one big slide. The refrigerator, the middle section, the entertainment center with the fireplace. So there's a bunch more big drawers over here large oven really nice looking stainless steel top range three burner that looks super great and notice all the countertop space to the left and right of that that's not something that you normally see all right window behind that large stainless steel convection microwave and some more storage space above that Come on out here, check out this island. Look how long it is. They even give you a Dyson fan. One of those crazy new technology fans. All right, solid surface countertops. Hi-Max by LG. Oops, there's a little splatter of the winterizing solution there. I'll open this up. 
Okay, side-by-side -side stainless steel sink. A big bowl on the left, smaller bowl on the right, with that culinary style sprayer faucet. Okay, then we've got a large residential refrigerator with an ice maker and water dispenser. And then on the back wall, we have a really big pantry. It even has a cute little note board on the front. Um, a bunch of cupboards, some really big drawers. These are massive. Very sturdy. Open up this pantry. All right. See all this pantry space here. Uh, this is even a little tray that comes out there. And then the cupboards above that. Which are bigger than they look. Here we go. It's a better perspective on them. Sorry, the shot's gonna be a little shaky. All right. While I'm at it, I'm just going to show you the build quality in these drawers, too. Okay? First of all, just look how big this drawer is, even compared to my hand. So you'll definitely be able to fit some big things in there. I like it when these have usable space with the build quality. Uh, things aren't going to budge. All right. And right as you walk in, uh, here's where your control panel is uh, for your awnings and your slide outs and your lights and power as well as a battery checker okay and here's your thermostat and as you saw from that sky shot there are two acs in here as well they actually have a fantastic vent fan here's your fantastic vent fan controls okay and as you see up here they have a fantastic vent fan uh, and this is Gonna suck out the air really well. Uh, it works more like a small attic fan. Um, also, one more thing before we leave here. Uh, they do have the cool lights. Um, I've seen this in other big horns. On the molding as well, it's cool uh, blue LED uh, behind that pattern. And then on the walls here, they do have chair rails with two different textured walls on either side. So we've got that gray texture at the bottom and then this more uh, white cream color texture yeah and that just looks really rich really good but in a comfortable kind of way all right notice on the floor here they've got carpet over the steps uh, they also have a cool little drawer right in the middle heartland likes to do that step up to the bathroom uh, i like the design of this door feels sturdy too Step in here. There's plenty of light in here because there's two skylights. There is a fan. There is a fan on the ceiling. And then there's also a skylight in the bathroom. Really big skylight. It's actually huge. It's like the whole space of the shower. Go down and you see that there's a one-piece shower. And there's your sprayer faucet. Glass shower doors. The linen, open linen space in here. More down here as well. Got lots of space in the vanity too. Big drawers in here too. I'm really impressed with the size of their drawers and just the usability of this unit. Um, solid surface countertops in here look awesome. Bring that up. Oh, and they even use American stone cast sinks in the bathroom. Uh, so this is going to hold up really well, you know, to whatever abuse you want to give to it. And then they've got mirrored vanity. And more storage space to the right of that. Yep, and they still have the same ceilings in here, or at least with the wood panel, so... Uh, that goes through all the way, all through the bedrooms, too. Okay, it looks like we've got a king-size bed in here. Okay. And even on the back wall, they've got uh, wood 
They've got a wood look paneling up that just looks really, really great. Nice textured headboard. Go over here to the walk-in closet. All right, it's mirrored in the front to make the room seem bigger. Okay, you can see that they have a Dyson vacuum cleaner in there that comes with the unit. Um, you can also see they have a bunch of these shoe shelves, uh, which I think call a California closet or something like that. But they've also got an LED light in the ceiling there. Another little storage compartment here. Open this up. Oh, it's actually a safe. So yeah, they have a safe in there. And on this side, for guests or spare chairs for the dining table. Um, and we've got a clothing bar. We've got a clothing bar in the ceiling uh, and one mid cupboard as well in front of the chairs. And then right here, this is your washer and dryer prep. Really, really large space. There's also a hanging bar in here as well uh, and a shelf on top of that. It's fun over here. Uh, we just came out of this bathroom, um, which they have this, this great French panel door, sliding panel door. Um, and here's the main door. Big dresser here at the end of the bed. Same quality drawers, same hardware. Um, some more storage space to the right of that for your clothes. And right here is where the bedroom TV is going to go. So yeah, really nice bedroom. Uh, this, ooh, there's even a couple of hooks here right when you walk in and hang your coat on. That's cool. Like I said, this unit is, it seems to be designed in a very cozy, comfortable, and practical way while still looking incredibly luxurious. It's definitely a winner in my book. It's a great looking unit. The Bighorn 3675EL. Uh, you can come on down to Terrytown if you want to look at this unit. Uh, any other Heartland units, Jayco units, uh, you name it. We have a lot of stuff on here, so feel free to come on down and check out anything we've got. Motorhomes to Go is right next door as well, um, and we'd be happy to show you around. I'm John from Terrytown RV, and... Uh, Thanks for taking this tour with me, and take care. Give Terrytown RV a call today so we can put our buying power and experience service to work for you. We look forward to earning your business. Terrytown RV. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube page to stay updated on new content. Our Facebook link and websites are located in the descriptions below. Terrytown RV.